Now I'm going to show you how to render a boucle tweed with um, nubby multicolored yarns. So kind of think like a um, Chanel suit or something like that. Um, so I'm going to do a lighter color, um, sort of like a creamy base color, and then I'm going to add in some other fun colors to it. So I'm going to start off with a bisque for my lighter color. And I'm not going to put it everywhere because I want it to look pretty light. I'm almost, um, this color is almost acting as like a shadow color at the moment. And then I'm going to tone it down with some French gray. Because I don't want it to look too yellow. So kind of adding this color to the shadow areas. not adding it everywhere then I'm going to use a W1 warm gray number one um, and I'm going to go over this creamy color with the warm gray just to kind of tone it down a little bit and define those shadow, shadows just a little bit more. Just making it look a little bit more neutral. So now that I've done that, um, I want to make it look kind of nubby, so I'm going to add in some little stippling, a little bit of stippling everywhere with my warm gray number one. So this is adding a nice little texture. Then I'm going to use a W3, so that's a warm gray number three, and I'm just going to redefine a little bit of these shadows here in the darkest shadow areas. That adds some nice depth to it. So now I'm going to add with my white gel pen, since this is a bright uh, light color, I'm using a white gel pen. If you're um, rendering a darker color, then you would use a colored pencil. Um, but I'm going to come in and I'm going to add just a little bit of nubby texture to the shadow, the darkest shadow areas too. And just a little bit. I'm not adding like a crazy amount. I'm just kind of adding a little bit more texture to those shadows. Okay, so um, usually these Chanel sort of like nubby um, tweed boucles. Um, they usually have um, a plaid texture to them, so I'm going to use um, a micron pen, a super light micron pen. So this is a, a one, my own one micron pen. Now I'm going to create a little bit of a tweed pattern, and I'm going to make the line not super straight, and I'm going to add some of these like bigger nubs every once in a while. So 
So the line shouldn't be straight. It should kind of have some like squigglies and um, these little nubs in it. Add some big darker ones every once in a while. And I'm gonna do it the opposite direction as well to create a plaid pattern. So there you can see a pretty defined plaid pattern. I'm gonna color in these little buttons, make those stand out a little bit more. Okay, so usually some of these tweeds, these boucle tweeds, um, they also have some other like bright colored flecks um, of yarn in the boucle yarn. So I'm gonna add some fun little bits of color every once in a while. So really pay attention to what colors your fabric has in them and you can add whatever colors your fabric has to your illustration. So if you're rendering a darker colored boucle tweed, um, you're going to use, you can use gel pen and you can use lighter colored pencils to create those colors as well. Um, but that is what it's going to look like. 